Thanks everyone for joining us this morning and welcome. I'm gonna start with Apple TV. Now of all the great channels that we have on Apple TV, there's one in particular I'd like to talk about this morning and that is HBO. We are thrilled to be here this morning to announce our standalone streaming service, HBO Now. We will introduce our new product in early April for $14.99 a month. And if you subscribe in April, you will get the first month free and have it in time for the April 12th premiere of our global phenomenon, Game of Thrones. We are lowering the price today to $69. If you don't have one yet, now's the time. But we have always wanted to make the biggest difference we could make, and that is on medical research. I know medical research is not what you were expecting, but uh, let me explain. Research Kit is a software framework made specifically for medical research. You decide what apps you participate in, what research you participate in, the first five apps that you saw are gonna be available today. Next up, I'd like to talk about the Mac. But the definition of portability has changed in the last several years, led by iPhone and iPad. So we challenged ourselves to take everything that we had learned in designing iPhone and iPad to reinvent the notebook. And here it is. Can you even see it? I can't even feel it. There it goes. The new MacBook weighs just two pounds. It's just 13.1 millimeters thin. It is an all new keyboard. And that all adds up to a key that is much more precise inaccurate or well, the perfect size display to match to that full-size keyboard is a 12 inch display and to be beautiful of course it's a retina display with 2304 by 1440 pixels next up the trackpad we call it the force touch trackpad for the first time in a trackpad our tactic engine to provide feedback of your clicking and for the first time, you can click anywhere and get the exact same feel over the entire surface. Those four sensors sense a range of pressure from your lightest click to a deeper press. And we've created a new gesture for those deeper presses. We call them a force click. And this is a range of pressure that this, the sensors can sense. So in drawing applications or signing your signature, you get a much more accurate illustration. So let's take a look inside because what's on the inside is just as innovative as these features we're looking at on the outside. This is the logic board of the 11 inch MacBook Air. Well, the team designed this new MacBook with removing all fans and vents to make it the first fanless MacBook ever. It's powered by an Intel Core M, fifth generation, 14 nanometer process. You can configure it with speeds up to 1.3 gigahertz, which can be turbocharged running up to 2.9 gigahertz. So what do we do with the rest of that space? We fill it with batteries, and that allows us to deliver all day battery life. One connector supports USB data, display port, power, HDMI, VGA, all through one connector. This is a brand new standard called USB-C. It's easier to use because it's reversible, and it's the most versatile connector. You'll see adapters from Apple, as well as many third parties to support all these different interfaces all through one connector. The new MacBook starts with 12.1 inch retina display, a 1.1 gigahertz Intel Core M, a large eight gigs of internal memory, and a large 256 gigabyte flash storage device at just $12.99. You can get a faster processor and twice that internal storage for just $15.99. We'll begin to ship in a number of countries in just a month, April 10th. It comes in silver, space gray, and a stunning gold. Hashtag MacBook lust. 
Now we have some updates to the others as well. The MacBook Air is being updated to faster 5th gen Intel Core i5 and i7 processors. They have faster Thunderbolt connectors. And the 13 inch configuration gets flash that's now twice as fast as before. And those will be shipping starting today. And the 13 inch MacBook Pro has an update as well. It's getting the new Force Touch trackpad. It's getting faster processors with faster Core i5 and i7 processors. And it's getting twice as fast flash as well. And we've been able to get another hour of battery life. And that's shipping today as well. And that is our news on the MacBook. Tim? Now I'd like to turn to the newest addition to the Apple family. And of course I'm talking about the Apple Watch. Every Apple Watch has many different faces and many different configurations. So you might like this traditional face. You also might like one that expresses time in a way that's never been done before, or one that is just fun. Now, Apple Watch also has a new feature that's called glances. So if you swipe up from the bottom of the watch face, you can see things like weather, your calendar. Glances allows you to control your music, and you can even check your heart rate. Right from your wrist, you can receive messages. And the Taptic Engine alerts you by tapping your wrist. You can also, with the built-in speaker and microphone, you can receive calls on your watch. You can read full emails, and you can connect Apple Watch to Apple Watch with a new technology called Digital Touch. Digital Touch allows you to do things like sketch on your watch, and that sketch will be animated on your friend's watch exactly as you drew it. And so the Apple Watch tracks your daily movement, it tracks how long you're exercising or getting brisk activity, and it even reminds you if you've been sitting too long. Apple Watch also has a new workout app, and it will provide detailed metrics about your workout that you can see during your workout, things like how many calories you're burning. You can receive any notification that you receive on iPhone today, you can receive on your watch. So you can keep track of your favorite sports teams. You can connect to social media. So to give you a sense of what it's like to use these apps on the watch, we're gonna use some moments in time. So let's start out at work. And I can see um, important notifications, messages from VIPs, quick looks at information with glances. So for example, I might be going to New York pretty soon and I can see my departure information here. So I'm going to ask Siri here. What's the temperature in New York? Oh, it's getting warmer there. Now I can get notifications, of course, while I'm at home uh, or incoming photos from my friends. And over here, I have an Uber app. So when I get near the airport, my boarding pass will just show up right here in my notifications. If I tap on it, you can see my flight information, including a barcode that I can use to just wave in front of the scanner and get through security. I've got this great app from alarm.com and my garage door is hooked up there. So let's open the door for Manny. So open the door, it's gonna send the command to my garage door and it should open. There it goes. Apple Watch has been designed to work with iPhone. In iOS 8.2, you will find this new app, the Apple Watch app. This is where you see and browse and download apps. During a typical day, you can expect 18 hours. Now we've curated Apple Watch into three collections. The first collection is the Apple Watch Sport. And it has anodized aluminum and it's available in silver or space gray. And it has colorful bands that are made out of high performance floor elastomer. Now the Apple Watch Sport starts at only $349 for the 38 millimeter model and only $50 more for the 42 millimeter model. The Apple Watch collection offers the widest variety of bands that we offer. You can get a sport band. There are three different leather bands. There's a Melanese loop and a link bracelet. The cases are made from stainless steel and you can get them in either a traditional finish or this beautiful space black. The Apple Watch collection also comes in two sizes. The 38 millimeter starts at only 549 and ranges to 1049 depending upon your selection of the watch band. The 42 millimeter is only $50 more. Now the Apple Watch Edition 
is something unbelievably unique and very special. They're also available in 38 millimeter and 42 millimeter sizes. Their cases are made from 18 karat solid gold. They also come with these beautiful custom design bands with details like elegant clasp and buckles that are also made of solid gold. Now there will be limited quantities of the Apple Watch Edition. It is priced from $10,000 and it will be available in select retail stores. You may be wondering when you can get these. We're taking pre-orders beginning on April the 10th. Also on April 10th, you can go look and experience an Apple Watch in person in one of our retail stores. The Apple Watch is available on April 24th and it will be available in many countries throughout the world. I want to thank you all for coming. It's a, it's a privilege to present in front of this group. Thank you.